Hello everyone, I'm Try to Thrive, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a commentary on a brand new Exhibit Speed build. Now, i got to be honest, I almost never do commentaries on Exhibit Speed builds, um, but I feel as today I should, simply because there's a, th there's a few things I need to say about everything, basically. Um, first things first, this is the reboot, technically, of my Exhibit Speed Build series. Now, I haven't done one in a little while, and I gotta be honest, looking back at them and pretty much all my creations, I'm not happy with where I am in terms of my building skills. I know I can do better, um, I have been doing better, but this, this new Exhibit Speed Build was a challenge, as I wanted it to be. Um, it's also supposed to show you guys that I am, from this point on, going to be just taking everything into account when it comes to building. I'm going to, I'm going to focus heavily on details. I'm going to make impressive exhibits and impressive buildings. And uh, trust me, I need to for some really awesome upcoming series that I'm very excited to do. Um, and w with more than just me, let's say that I don't want to spoil it too big. But there's something, something pretty crazy that I'm going to be doing soon eventually. Um, but yeah, anyway though, I just wanted, I've really been wanting to improve uh, my skills with this game, and I must say with this exhibit, I've done a pretty good job. This is my Red Panda exhibit. Um, it's actually based off the, ooh, I forgot for sure, I, f I forgot what it is exactly, but it is a, it's based off a zoo in California, and their newly renovated Red Panda exhibit. It's a pretty famous Red Panda exhibit. If you look at Red Panda zoo exhibit, you'll see pictures, illustrations of it. I, I did my entire exhibit based off the illustrations. Um, so yeah, this was a good creation, this was a good challenge for me to challenge my create creativity, and I, I as I said before, I think I did a pretty good job. You guys can be the judge of that. Please let me know what you think down in the comments below after you're done watching the whole video. Also, I want to say thank you for watching the video. Um, I don't really do that too often, but I, I really want to thank you guys for watching this video. Um, you know who you are. And, uh, okay, now that I've gotten all the positive stuff out of the way, and this isn't really positive or negative, but I'd like to talk a few, uh, talk a few things about this exhibit in general. There are there are some important things you should remember when it comes to it. Um, basically, first things first, this exhibit has a few tunnels for the red pandas. There's a giant circle tunnel um, above the ground on one of the sides, uh, the front side, the closer side to the guests. Um, now, unfortunately, it cannot work as I expected. I don't, I just, it, it's all custom made, and I wouldn't expect the red pandas to go through, and they don't, unfortunately, but that's okay. I, I'm completely fine with it. Um, the other tunnels are two right next to each other. You're probably already seeing me build them. They, surprisingly enough, actually work. I didn't think they would, um, so uh, thank gosh for that. You'll see me add another um, way to get in on the side using bamboo and whatnot, but I because I, I thought they weren't going to work, um, so I just closed off the other entranceway that I made because, you know, I didn't really need it. But I'm keeping it there. I kept it there as, like, a visual thing so just in case you needed, like, an actual open way to let them in. It, it You know, decide whatever you want to do with it, but there's basically a total of four ways visually for the, for the red pandas to get through into the interior, which actually, as a matter of fact, I heavily decorated the interior. Well, I say heavily, I, I just decorated it. It looks good. I, I've never really done that before, but I think it came out really nicely. Um, so yeah, as far as the tunnels go, a couple of them, you just have to imagine the red panda, red pandas will actually use, and they'll use the other one. They'll, they will use the other ones. So, um, speaking of visuals, another thing that you must know about this exhibit, because I know people may be confused about this, but the exhibit is actually a non-functioning one for the guests. There is actually no pathway in any of this. The way I built it is all supposed to just make it look like it, it's a functioning habitat, but it's just not. Um... I, I like doing that because, quite frankly, I don't really care about the guests. I'm in it for the animals. So the habitat, the exhibit itself for the animals is functional. But, like I said, the guests, it's just not. You just have to imagine that people will use it. And also, this thing will go up on the workshop. So if you really want, you can thus make it guest appropriate. 
you can actually add the pathing and whatnot, but uh, really the, the board box just aren't big enough for it. And speaking of board box, I, really, I added a really awesome way to get on to the actual main viewing area. It's like this big spiral board walk. It was a real challenge, but absolutely worth it. I think it looks great. Um, and actually, about the workshop, because I just men mentioned it, it's the last thing I want to talk about. Now, this thing, it has over 5,000 pieces, so it cannot be put all together as a blueprint. Thus, I cannot put it on the workshop as an item. The entire exhibit is going to have to go on the workshop as a map. So if you really want to check out this exhibit, you absolutely can. It'll just have to be the entire map. And then from there, you can salvage what you want from it. You know, grab the stuff that you need from it and then take it back to your own zoos and use it there. But I just, I didn't have, um, I, I used too many pieces. And uh, that's unfortunate, but that's just that. So anyway, though. I've said pretty much everything I needed to. I hope you all enjoy this video. Um, it's the start of a new wave for me and my creations. I'm ready to get bigger with all of this. I'm very excited. I have some great ideas, and I hope you all continue to follow. And uh, Also, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe. Check out my Discord. It's in the description below. And uh, I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Enjoy the video. Bye-bye.
Let's go, 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 let's go